Oh, I've been wanting to try this for a while. Oh yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we've got a bit of an unboxing. We've got a mystery package just turned up. Well, actually, a mystery bag turned up, but I couldn't really call it an unbagging. I don't think anyone would click on it if I called it that. And my wife opened it. So I've got to stick it on a box so we can do the YouTube unboxing of it and get the knife out. Ooh, so let's dive in, have a look and see what we've got. So this is from the good people at Absolute Products. Reached out on Facebook, said, would you like to try some of our stuff? I saw you did your own fish food. So they hope they would get a, an unbiased opinion from me and they will. So we've got this stuff here. So number one, Absolute Fry Food, Live Vera Fry Food. Now I've tried this before because the good people over at uh, Fishman Aquatics sent me some of this, so I've already been trying this for some weeks, so I'll show you a bit in the fish room shortly. We'll talk about that. We've got Absolute Mini Catfish. We can try them out. We've got Better Gold. Quite a lot of stuff in here. Oh, I've been wanting to try this for a while. Um, we've got some Absolute Warmer Plus. Now, I've been a big avid user of the Kusuri Warmer, but recently, not, not that I've been going off it, but I've found it hard to find. Uh, and then the stuff that I have been finding, I'm just not sure it's genuine or not. So a load of people have actually been recommending this to me. So we might have a little bit of a dedicated video about this later. Absolute Pearls. So these are like your bio balls. Um be interested to try these out. I'm probably going to need these soon because unless you've been living under a rock or this is your first time here, you'll know I'm moving house soon, so I'll have lots of fish tanks to start up again. And that'll give me a little a little booster. Oh yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Uh, it's fantastic. So we've got absolute discus. Now this is another one highly recommended recently. Um but recently, last few months actually, people have been saying on the various forums and groups that I'm part of that they've been trying this absolute discus, clover leaf absolute discus stuff uh, and been getting on really well with it because it's a slowly sinking pellet. It um, apparently it doesn't foul up your water too much. So we'll definitely be giving this a go. So as ever, I'm not being paid by these guys. They just emailed, said, can we send you over some stuff? have sent me some stuff, so we're going to try it out and we're going to give an honest opinion. Um, I'm not being paid for this opinion, so if it sucks and I don't like it, I'm going to say it sucks and I don't like it, and if I do like it, I'll say so. Also got a nice couple of stickers. We all know how I love stickers. So the discus one is the one that I'm most eager to try because I've been looking forward to trying this for a while. Um, available at all good pet shops these days. There's more and more coming online. If you're on any of the Facebook groups, you'll see lots of uh, people starting to stock this clover leaf absolute discus stuff. You can get it at Fishman Aquatics, I believe. Um, but the discus food makeup is on the back, um, as you would expect, but it's really high protein, so 54% protein. I know some companies say, oh, we've got 60, 70% protein. 54% is pretty high protein. I know you can get more, but I don't think that 100% protein is not the goal, so it's getting a good balance of ingredients. So that is pretty high protein. Uh, I'm more than happy with that. They talk about um, energy and digestible energy here. I'm not entirely sure what those numbers mean, but if you do know, let me know in the comments. Um, but the thing here is, I'll just read it off the back here. Complete sinking discus pellet. It's a sinking format food, encourages natural feeding behavior, softens quickly without clouding the water. So softening quickly is something that I'm interested in and not clouding the water, obviously, because nobody wants cloudy water. Um, full of natural proteins, vitamins, bioactive elements to aid in digestion, promote a healthy immune system. Feeding guide, feed two to three times daily. The amount your discus will completely consume in a few minutes. Not the amount that your fish will consume in 30 seconds, unlike some organisations that shall remain nameless. Care should be taken to avoid overfeeding. Much like myself. So we'll get this opened up and have a look at it. I'm not going to have a look at all the foods today. I'm going to concentrate on the discus foods uh, and maybe we'll show you the fry foods that I've been testing for a few weeks. So, very small pellet, as you would expect. It talks about a two to three mil pellet. 
that's exactly what you get. Quite hard to the touch, first off. So unlike, so my current favourite food at the moment for these guys is basically a mixture between uh, frozen brine shrimp and the softer timia pellets that I sell myself on my own website. Quick plug in there. Um, so these pellets, we'll see how they get on. Obviously because I've set the camera up, the fish are now hiding right round the back. So I don't know whether this is a very fair test to get them to come and feed. But let's have a go anyway, shall we? Drop in some pellets. So straight away you can see they are starting to sink. There's a few floating at the top. <laughs> the cardinals are having a go. The discus aren't for having it yet, but that's probably more my presence than anything else. Let's get the rest of them in. So I've gone with what what I'd call a big pinch there rather than any specific measurement. So just dropped in a little bit. I mean they grazed at the last lot a little bit, but hopefully because I'm sitting back from the tank a little bit, not getting in their face, they'll feel a little bit more comfortable and start to come out and have a look at that food. And um, the reason I really want to like this is because it's quite a hard pellet when it's out and dry. And I really like using automatic feeders, but the stuff that I normally use, which has always been soft pellets or soft artemia, it tends to clog up uh, and quite often fails, whereas a, a hard dry pellet would work really well. So if I can get these fish onto this stuff, I know it's nutritionally good and it should help with my automatic feeders because I really like automatic feeders because you can just kind of do that two, three, four times a day without having to think about it, without having to remember. I mean, I'm here to look at the tank and make sure that it's not failing and dumping a whole load of food into the tank, but it takes the guesswork out of feeding because uh, you know it's happening regularly. Um, obviously this is a very short term test so if you want to you'll have to click that subscribe button and make sure you come back and I'll do updates in the coming weeks and months as to how we're going on with the food. Because uh, I won't be able to tell immediately what the food's doing for their colours for instance, the vibrancy of the colours of the fish. Um, but over the, over the long term we might see some differences. But we'll leave them here for a couple of minutes without me interfering to see if they start picking at it. I did notice them picking at it a little bit. Um, but with any new foods, in my experience, it takes discus a while to get into it. Um, so the fact that they've had a little peck so far has been quite good. But let's see how they get on. As you can see, they're going down for a little peck at it now. The pellets themselves, they get a little bit lighter and take on water quite quickly. Um, which I think is only a good thing because I can see even the, the cardinal tetras I've been in and had, and had a few little bites at them. And I won't hurt that, I won't hurt them. And I guess that's one of the problems of having a community tank. Is it's very hard to target feed when you have so many different types of fish in the tank. So we're getting light pecking at most. If anything, the other fish are coming in and nabbing most of the food. Um, but discus, changing foods, it's never an easy ask. Um, they're never gonna go switch from one to the other straight away. I do have lots of techniques where we can switch them over to this over time, but I knew this wasn't gonna be an instant thing. I'm happy that a few of them have been pecking away at it, starting to recognize it as food. Um, it's just going to 
be a couple of weeks to get them transitioned onto it properly. But that's what I would say. Make sure you click that subscribe button, come back, and I'll give you an update in a few weeks once we've had a bit longer to try them on it. So we'll come down to the fish room and try this out. This is the absolute essential first fry food for live bearers. And that's one thing I've got plenty of. So I've got endlers, guppies all over the place. I've been using this for quite a while. Um, so I, I have got long-term results on this. And I do think this is fantastic. Whereas I use my own fry formula, whatever this is. Not there. So I have made a video in the past about the fry food that I usually make. If, it, yeah, if you haven't got access to make your own, about smashing up all the leftovers from your normal foods. But this is specially formulated from, for, for fry. Um, and I have been using this for quite a while now because I've got delivered some from my good friends at Fishman Aquatics. So all available to buy on their website if you want to. Um, I'm assuming this is exactly, this is exactly the same stuff. It's just a very, very fine powder. So this is even finer than stuff that I make for myself and goes down an absolute treat. Um, says you can get it open. So I've actually used up my last lot. What I like to do with this stuff, shameless plug, is get one of my little Aquarium Adventures mugs. Mugs? Tubs even. This is the 250ml one. Transport it into there because I will generally drop the bag and spill it everywhere. It gives you a really fine dust. You'll probably not be able to see on camera. But this stuff goes down well with all my all my live bearers. And I'll let you take a look at the steak handlers there and particularly fantastic colours on them. So as you can see it's like a fine dust. It's really slowly falling through the, the water column. And look at the colours on this guy, especially. He says, trying to focus. So that's the kind of results that I'm getting with my absolute fry food. These are fry that have been grown on purely on this. Well, this and a mix of my own smashed up food, but I attribute most of those colours to this fry food. So we'll call that part one of the review. I'm going to test out all the other foods and products in separate videos, and then we'll come back in a few weeks later so I can give you my longer term thoughts. So make sure you click that subscribe button if you want to hear about those. But for now, we'll leave you there. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.